Hi, I'm Anne, and I'm a docent at the Academy. And as long as we're learning about sharks, I thought it might be fun to think a little bit about shark teeth. So you have teeth. Let's think about teeth for a minute. You basically have two kinds of teeth. The ones in the front are for biting, and the ones in the back are for chewing. So think about you know taking a bite of your sandwich. You don't swallow it whole, you chew it. Well, we're gonna find out that sharks actually don't do that. Uh, most fish, if you think about it, don't have any chewing teeth. So most fish have kind of biting teeth, and that's one of the reasons we think of sharks as being dangerous. But sharks are actually very cool. So let's um, think a little bit about shark teeth. They can tell us a lot about what different kinds of sharks eat. The first kind of shark that we think of is clearly the great white shark. And these are found off the California coast. They are sometimes dangerous, but they're beautiful animals. They're about as big as say a car and a half. The, big, the females are a little bigger than the males. And down in the right, there's a picture of a shark, a great white shark tooth. These teeth are used for capturing and eating mostly large animals, large mammals. They like seals, for example. Um, and so the teeth are, they're about that big. They are very sharp, but they also, if you look at the picture, they have little points on them, like a saw. And that's because the shark grabs something and then what's it gonna do? It doesn't have a knife and fork, so it's gonna shake its head like that until the piece that it's holding onto comes off because those teeth are kind of sawing away at it. And then it's gonna, it's gonna swallow the piece whole. That's all it can do. So you'll find a bunch of sharks grabbing at something and biting off chunks and swallowing them whole. But that's a great white shark and that's how they eat. So then let's take another shark, a great, big shark, the biggest shark, in fact, the biggest fish there is, the whale shark. Whale sharks are about as long as a school bus. And the picture on the left shows you a bunch of people looking at a whale shark that's being kept in an aquarium. A lot of sharks, you can't do that. They're just crazy. But whale sharks are very calm. They swim around with their mouth open. And the picture on the right shows you a whale shark with its mouth open. And look, it doesn't have any teeth at all. It actually does have a few small teeth. It has about 300 little tiny teeth. It doesn't use them for eating. It swims around in the water with its mouth open. Ah! And when it sees something to eat, it swims into the school of fish and little, little shrimp and things like that, and it swallows them whole. Imagine eating that way. So it's a filter feeder. And the other biggest animal on the planet, the great blue whale, is also a feeder, filter feeder. So there's something to be said about going around with your mouth open in order to feed. Another kind of shark that we find right off the California coast is the horn shark. Horn sharks are small. Um, they're about a yard long, um, which would be my arm to this, to this shoulder, not very long, maybe as wide as your bed. Um, and they are very shy. They hide, they're nocturnal, they come out at night and they hunt for things that live in the bottom, in the sand, um, down at the bottom of the ocean. So horn sharks are very gentle. If you stepped on one, it couldn't really even bite you. So here's a picture of a, the bottom jaw of a horn shark, and you can see that it's kind of flat and it has little tiny teeth maybe for catching something, but the flat part is actually for crushing. It's kind of like your molars, except they, they don't really chew, they just crush. So horn sharks eat things like sea urchins and crabs that have a hard shell to protect them. Lots of animals in the ocean have shells to protect them. And the horn shark has figured out how to eat those things by crushing them with its teeth. Otherwise, they're just really never gonna bother you. The last kind of shark is a really interesting little shark called a cookie cutter shark. What a great name. Cookie cutter sharks aren't very big. If you have a pencil like this one, okay, if you have three of those pencils and you put them end to end, that's how big a cookie cutter shark is. How could a cookie cutter shark be dangerous? Well, they aren't really, but they're interesting. They have evolved 
to swim around together in groups as if they were fish. And when they find a bigger fish or something like a seal, they will rush up and kind of grab it, form kind of a suction cup with their lips and take a bite, a big round bite. And so the picture that you see there of the seal with the round marks on its tummy, those are cookie cutter bites. And there's a picture there of the cookie cutter mouth with a little sharp teeth so they're not actually very nice sharks, but they won't hurt you. So there are four different kinds of sharks that I hope you find interesting. And they will remind you that sharks, there are over 500 different kinds of sharks. They're fascinating animals. They live all over the world. And most of them are very important animals in their community. So we need to kind of look out for them and protect them. And as we protect all of our oceans. So I hope you get a chance, if you're interested in learning more about sharks, to come and see the exhibit on sharks that's going to be at the California Academy starting in May. Thanks. Bye.